Mankato plans to acquire 100 acres of farmland with hopes of returning it to its natural state. Officials hope to improve flood mitigation, add new hiking trails, and give prairie animals a new home. Nick Beck shows us the city's plan for wetland restoration. Think of these wetlands, think of the prairie as being a biological sponge. Beneath these 100 acres of corn and soybeans lay 42 acres of drained wetland and 58 acres of upland buffer but this may soon change. The existing county ditch and tile could be cut essentially and a wetland restored. And so in an effort to improve water quality downstream through the Indian Creek system, the city was looking to uh, purchase and restore this wetland um, in this area. The city was granted $1.3 million through the Lazard Sam's Outdoor Heritage Council for land acquisition, preliminary design and restoration activities. Sure, we're retaining enough water to create the habitat that we want and to store the water, but not so much that we're negatively impacting the adjacent property owners and their tile systems. McCarty believes this project will improve water quality, improve the habitat, and have a net positive impact on the area's agricultural community. And so we can ha have a complementary project that helps improve the drainage situation downstream of this area. They're hoping to create an environment where wildlife will thrive. You're going to see a waterfall return. If you have enough open water, you might see can of geese, trumpet, or swamp. And it is. It's incredible watching wildlife, all wildlife, return to these properties. In Mankato, Nick Beck, KEYC News Now. All the city needs to go forward with the project is to complete their appraisal review process with the DNR and to work with property owners to negotiate a purchase agreement. They estimate it could take three to five years for the wetland to establish itself.